Sis guy, he a visionary. Hate to see a man get on and then lose. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Let's get to the news. Exclusive, baby. Hot Boys rapper BG faces return to prison over alleged probation offense. Christopher Dorsey, 43 years old, accused of performing alongside other rappers without obtaining permission from authorities. Ramon Antonio Vargas in New Orleans. About two months into a supervised release from federal prison on gun charges, the rapper who scored a hit song with Bling Bling has been charged with violating the terms of his supervision while performing alongside other prominent entertainers without authorities permission. A federal judge ordered Christopher Dorsey or BG who once belonged to Cash Money Records rap supergroup, the Hot Boys, released on his own recognizance on Wednesday after his arrest on Charges Records show. Although Dorsey, 43, was let out of custody pending the outcome of the case relatively quickly, his latest legal pearl set off a dialogue in some circles about whether authorities are going overboard and forcing the technicalities of his supervised release when all Dorsey is alleged to have done is try to reestablish himself as an artist. The man has come home doing his little thing. He ain't bothering nobody, just trying to get his life back on track. The rap commentator OG Freeze, who spent time incarcerated with Dorsey, said in a particularly notable vehicle, I mean vehicle, video published on Thursday on YouTube. He ain't doing nothing different than no other rapper. In the video, OG Free showed a text message on his phone screen that he said was from Dorsey and read in part, I just got out of jail. The rest of the message accurately summarized the allegations contained in federal court papers that led to Dorsey arrest in Las Vegas, where the New Orleans native now lives. A federal probation officer wrote in those papers that one of the conditions governing Dorsey's supervised release from prison was to obtain prior written approval before entering self-employment. But Dorsey had not done that before performing at a concert in Las Vegas alongside Boosie on February 8th. He also had not obtained such permission while living at a halfway house in December. He published the album choppers and bricks alongside fellow rapper gucci man additionally those on federal supervised release are generally required to refrain from associating unnecessarily with some people including if they have prior felony convictions authorities took exception to the fact that Lil boosie and gucci man have prior felony convictions including respectively for possession with the intent to distribute a controlled dangerous substances as well as possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Dorsey put out a video on YouTube on 16 February titled Really Understand as well as another one called Yellow Tape alongside rapper Kid Kid eight days later on Apple Music Court Records Notice. Dorsey's probation officer described asking the musician about his employment choices as well as telling him that he needed to find other work. According to the officer, Dorsey's response was, I'm a rapper. That is my profession. The officer applied for a warrant arrest on the 21st of March saying he had violated multiple conditions of his supervised release. U.S. District Judge Susie Morgan of New Orleans where Dorsey had been prosecuted when first in prison signed off on it later that day according to records. Dorsey was arrested in Las Vegas and appeared in federal courthouse there on Wednesday after being ordered Released on his own recognizance, he was told to appear in federal court in New Orleans as required while officials deliberate whether or not to revoke his supervised release and reincarcerate him. Subsequent court dates were not immediately available. In an Instagram post after his arrest, Dorsey said his situation was crazy, but expressed confidence he would come out on top after paying my debt to society. I come home and still ain't free, he wrote. I've been doing everything the right way, and it seems like that ain't enough. Performing as BG or Baby Gangsta Dorsey formed. We ain't finna get into all of that. But, yeah, here we go. Having been transferred from prison to a halfway house, Dorsey saw his prison sentence reduced to time he had already served on January 24th, 2024. Then began a two-year period of living under federal supervision on the 1st of February, about a week before, taking the stage with Lil Boosie, his fellow native Louisiana. Before we get started, let me knock some things out real quick. One, I have no personal vendetta against BG. I have no personal vendetta against Juvenile. 
when I made my video about BG acting zesty, it was literally because if anybody else would have did it, y'all would have been on their top. So it wasn't really calling BG zesty. It was saying that if it was anybody else, y'all would have called him zesty. And I stand on what I said and I don't make any apology for it. Same thing for Juvenile. I just pointed out exactly what y'all would have did if it was somebody else. With that being said, bro, this is trash as hell. Couple things. BG has been gone for a decade. What skill does he have? What job would hire him? What did y'all want him to do? Did y'all want this man to go try to apply for a bunch of warehouses and sanitary jobs and then do that and then fade into the oblivion because that's what y'all wanted? BG literally defied the odds when he came out and started massacring music. He started getting reintroduced to youngins. I know because I got homies who was knocking the songs in front of their youngins and their youngins like, this ain't bad, who is this? Which means we were passing the baton of somebody that we watched grow up with us who represented a part of our lives. One thing about this that we had to say, BG got to operate better. I believe they're going to give him one more chance because this looks bad on the surface. You mean to tell me literally y'all about to send this man back to the pen for performing songs on stage now here's the messed up part about all of this stuff and this is where i had to tell cats all the time get your gun license do stuff the right way because if you don't bro you become a target not only for you but for everybody else when you morons try to get on my case they said he nash you got in front of a civilian and didn't say you were a gangbanger do y'all realize that i've been blessed and gifted the opportunity of chicago sun times to say purported should go Google the word, you dumbass moron who was dissing. Purported. Not reported, purported. There's a difference. Either way that goes. We got to understand something. It's not a lot of us that's in rap positions who haven't been in jail, who don't have a felony. Hell, I caught a felony at 15 years old, and if I wouldn't have did right, then, bro, they would have sucked me up the river. And I had that all the way up until 18 and a half. But this ain't about me. This is about BG. I believe BG is going to get another chance. If I'm BG, just keeping it authentic, bruh, just do your music, sing your songs off, do your cut scenes and all that stuff and everything like that, and you do have to get permission. At a certain point in time, we cannot make excuses for people. We just can't. And if we make these excuses from pe for people, we are doing them a grave disservice. So free BG until it's backwards, but I feel like next week he'll be getting out of jail, and I hope. I hope he's pissed off enough to say, you know what, man, let me just beat this and then get up out of here. You only got two years, bruh. Yo, you could have got a lawyer and then based off good behavior, got time knocked down. I think it's what every, uh, every day or every week or every three days, get you a day off any goddamn ways. So there's that part. Now I get it. BG got to get his bread, bro. Ain't no way he been making no real money in the pen for over a decade plus. And this is not a diss towards anybody. Part of me is like, bro, you should have known better. But the other part of me is like, bro, I don't know what type of parole or probation officer you had that is trash as hell. Who just was like, nah. But when you agree to certain terms, unfortunately, you agree. Regardless if you read them or not, you agree. They said you can't be around felons. They said you can't be around this. You can't be around that. So it is what it is. Hence why I said in my how to be a crip. Hey, bro, never admit you're a crip, especially to non-affiliated, non-gang members. Stupid. You will get people around you in trouble. It doesn't matter that it's not illegal to be a gang member, but it is illegal for somebody on parole or probation to be around gang members. Goofies. But hey, I just changed the Reloaded channel to the Clips channel. We changed the Clips channel to the Reloaded channel. I hope y'all like the switch. I'm gone. All right, man, so y'all know we just hit a 1,000 subs. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help us out, help us out. I'll catch y'all at the 10,000 sub mark. New video will drop in. New outro.